Hello, oh, my dark is always it is I, your Drusilla Dragon Rose, and we're from the Dark Side Nine here with Layers of Fear. Okay, so I'm just like two steps ahead from where we were last time because I needed to finish the uh, finish the chapter that we were in. a jar and and the plastic tubing. I was, I even guessed before and knew how it was done. And I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then I put the tube in a jar uh, and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? That was the last thing. In, in the last room that I went, uh, that it was in, apparently I had to take it, run the, run the disc backwards. Which, yeah. If forward made the damage, backwards would have made it go away. Anything interesting in here? Yeah. Oh. oh, nothing there. What is here? Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. Just as long as that's all that is, sir. I mean, I'm just saying, it looked like there were a lot of somethings to... to help you focus on your work. Hate, even now, lost alone, noon, you deserve it, a grave for you, finish it. Mother of God, man. Okay. Back in the haunted hill. Haunted hill. Hill house. Don't know. At this point, kinda don't care. Anything interesting in here? Here. Oh, there's some painting stuff and some of her girly stuff. More painting stuff. And nothing I want. Pa papers that are not important. Uh, well, it looks like we're not going in there. Hello? Um, I can't even see out the window. Okay. Nothing in there. 
What's up here? What's okay? I think. <laughs> well, okay then. I'm trying to seriously keep my cool here. <laughs> oh, hey, look, page. Sweet. Go. I need, a, I need to look at the page. There we go. About a boy who wakes up in a cave and he finds a mysterious note in a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, rivers. Eventually, he winds up in a small cabin where it turns out this all ha this all has been a product of his subconscious, brought upon by a, a traumatic childhood memory. He killed a guy who had murdered his father. There, in the real world, he's been drooling in a loony bin. In this whole time, get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well and it would take your mind off, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know, know as soon as possible. Thomas Cadwell. Take the job, man. Your pictures are creepy enough. Enough, although it's very American McGee, I want to say. So what are we doing then? More books and stuff? Okay, at least the piano didn't float anywhere go anywhere anymore that the locked up piano is that meant to symbolize something that was meant to symbolize something what the fuck is that there okay at least he didn't have don't turn around I think this is a mirror image of the Yeah, this is kind of a mirror image of the bedroom. You hear his suits and stuff. Here's some dishware. Or these just might be like random things that they put um he put in his head. I don't trust it. Is the floor lava? I'm pretty sure the floor is lava, but I'm gonna go across anyway. The creator's block. What? Oh? What? What? Um... How am I getting out? Help. Oh. Okay. Found it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, help. Oh. Hi. Um, I kind of need the scenery to stop changing like that. <laughs> kind of. Sort of. Because that kind of makes me super done with this game. Oh, what's in here? There. Nice. Don't forget. Oh, new moon. What are you gonna do with the new moon, sir? Nah, it's not like you're pagan. Nah, sir, I really, I think your memory's deteriorating because I, you have no doors on your cabinets anymore. Yikes! No. N O. Uh, more blocked off doors, I think. Aziz light. Okay, here we go. September 15th, more notes today, even worse than before. Sad part is, I agree with every word. artist rendition of rats? I hope it is. It wasn't. WTF? Dude, parts of your memory are caving in on themselves. That's not good for you. Dominoes. Don't think you can see that. One of these days, something in one of the cabinets is going to jump scare me, and I'm going to regret doing this, but for now, let's look at everything that I can look at. There's something here we can look at. Nope. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh. No random violin. That's for sure. Okay. So I can go through there. Wait. Can I go through here? Uh, yes I can. So. No. No, fork in the road. Teen Marin de dos pin. Fue. There we go. 
We're going that way. Are there stairs going down? No, they're not. But I'm pretty sure if I stay up here too long, something's gonna push me down. Huh? I believe we're going down that way. Holy shit, we're going down. Down is never good. And then, uh, 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 candles, books everywhere. There, books, books everywhere, and not one I can read. Although, though considering that it is his mind, they're probably filled with self-loathing shit. I refuse. Oh crap, it's his phone. It's a warped phone, but it's a phone. Come in and make it. Then, sorry, I was in the shower. I could not answer your call. Oh, here we go. Hello. Sir, if I am honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleges have informed me that you previously sought their advice on this matter. While it was perfectly understandable for a patient to demand second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be okay. Here we go. Uh, would be enough for you. Out of respect for you and your wife, I examined the case thoroughly. I have, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon when patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. And what you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, although many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned they do not seem to be psychological, but rather purely physiological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. And as to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long... Oh, oh. Odious process that will 
require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term re rehabilitation program. Sincerely, Robert Richards, MD. Another fucking quack. Like, well, you know, sir, you may want to... You might want to take his word for it on this one. You know? It's well. More shredded paper. Answer the phone? Obviously, somebody's trying to call. We're getting rude. Yeah. Richard Richards. Dr. Richards. Keeps happening that way. Okay. There we go. Hello? Hello? Yes, speakers. Restless memories. So I think we had an accident here. Holy crap. What was that? Look. Free thoughts. Oh my god, we're in Freddy Cougar land now. Um, hi. <laughs> Everything's back where it's set up. Turn on the lights. This path can be gotten through if you remember to turn on the light. Like, isn't that right, Dumbledore? Flap and being whore, be quiet. Eating other rats? Constantly flapping. Sir. You might want to check yourself into. Get yourself checked, you know? 
Just saying. It's long and dark and I don't see any other light, but... I refuse. I'm sorry. I know the amount, all the sorries in the world are not gonna, gonna fix a goddamn thing, but at this point I don't know what to do. Sorry, babe. Good. Then again, up didn't help either. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any impudent actions. In other words, do not do anything stupid. We will have a chance of winning this, believe it or not. I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Law, lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order this social worker definitely has it in for you we can use that to our advantage portraying you as a victim of the system a husband in mourning being a momentary lapse of reason an overzealous bureaucrat trust me this is our best option considering what you've been through lately i say we have a good 50 50 chance of a good outcome but not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone on completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daughter. An empty room. Oh joy. An empty room that did not kill me. Okay, good. Good, good. Good, good, good. Uh, I don't know what's through here. My curiosity is going to kill me. I know that. I know this. Okay. Kinda scared the bookkeepers out of me. That made me pause. Oh, jeez, Louise, I'm gonna join my mom. Where are we? Why are we? Oh. 
fail. Uh, is there any way to turn it off? Okay, good. Okay, very good. Water's not free. Unless I can get through here. I believe that's a bathroom. In this deep end game, I believe I do not want to go there. Okay, no. Locked door. No, I should have chosen up. Quite honestly. But again, up didn't quite help me either, so. Locked door, locked door. Smashed bottle. Locked. Locked. Oh no, I don't think so. I didn't get the lock sign. Brick wall. Brick wall. wall. Am I missing something here? Did I do something not right? I did something very not right. Holy mushrooms. Okay. Sir, lay off the hard cider. Um, um, I have a friend who has mem a memory like Swiss cheese. I'm pretty sure her mind does not look like this. Where are we? Why are we here? Anything? Oh, I know this part. I remember this part. Yep, here we go. Loading shit. basement with all the floating stuff. I 
think I need out. I need out. I need out before a crying wife comes to get me. Oh shit. Where am I? Where am I? Oh crap. It is so dark. Um. I do not approve. Oh, hey, light. Aziz, light. I need some light. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how. But then I sawed it off with a handsaw. Boiled it. Then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Okay. Do I follow the candle? Well, doesn't look like I have a choice. So let's follow the candles. Oh god. How am I getting out? That's not it. Usually when I find the gruesome paint piece, I can get out of where I am. Where am I? I need a door, goddammit. Okay. Oh, here, here we go. room looking more thrashed by the minute <sighs> oh 
Okay. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone first. I was lost as to how. No, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one first, obviously. This was not something that I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint it made for a lovely undercoat. Well, oh. now with the shop looking like it's going to pieces, who's in the painting looking even more grotesque? What if you fail? I'm pretty sure everybody has thought that at one point. Anyway, you know, with that lovely message, age. I can say, like and subscribe if you like my videos, share them if you like them, and okay, I